Hey there game makers and welcome back to another basics video tutorial and today we're gonna do well the particle system and how we can actually use it in your game as quickly and as non-problematic as possible so let's say you just created this new uh, i don't know particle system so here create and then particle system then in the editor you can just style us until it looks pretty dope and then for example you got a thing like this and then you're thinking like hey now i want to use it into my room well you could technically drag and drop it and as you can see it's just showing like uh no sir not working but we do it anyway because it says like hey you can actually place the particle system on an asset layer yes we want and then for example on the left side a new asset layer has been created and on that you can place uh, your particle systems and for example you can create uh, this one or maybe here my particle rain it's basically the same just placed on an, another asset layer and then for example once we start it uh, boom two static uh, particle systems which are just running and doing its thing and of course these are just meant for fire and forget things so you just place them then you don't want to touch them and there's nothing happening but of course let's say you want to have a little bit more control so what do we do well we uh, get rid first of all of that and then of that layer and then we can actually have an instance place it on an instance layer and then we just create it by hand and just like hey part system part system create then what it's called so for example this one on the left side the cool looking one here and then because we want to place it on a specific spot because on default zero zero which is top left not the best position so therefore we just say like hey what kind of pa particle system we want to uh, reposition and then we just do it once and then for example once we start it it will look the same and you're thinking like hey one up in the that kind of sucks because uh, <laughs> i want to have it um you know as easy as possible and the other message just putting on an asset layer was easier yes and no but now you have a little bit more control so for example what you can do is store it not just temporarily but you know in a variable which i don't know we call part system or part sys and then we can actually do the same thing here and i don't know move it to a specific position now it's just you know playing around to the mouse position so here once again a little bit more control but let's uh, do something which is a little bit more funky because that is maybe boring so we can actually do the same stuff place it on a layer but let's say the layer has an effect applied to it so for example here pixelate and here for example under water and as you can see looking pretty sweet and now we can actually utilize which is definitely looking nice um, utilize um, the effects which you can apply to a layer and which are then also applied to the particle system this is a little bit well it's not trickier but now we just have to do one thing we don't say part system create we say part system create layer and then you just have to input how the layer has been called so instance is pixelate so here this one and then our particle system and then here persistent just flag it as, as zero because and then it will be um, put into the next room once you skip this one and then here once again put it onto a position and well that's all the magic it is and then as you can see um we can actually use the effect layers which is kind of this uh, kind of looking interesting and then as you can see a little bit more um, funky stuff which we can do so here once again the easy way just put it on an i don't know on an asset layer your um, particle systems or if you want to have a little bit more control and create them via uh, instances which you place in the room or just create it during the runtime whatever you want to have it and then put them a specific spot alrighty hopefully that was of interest to you guys see you in the next one have a good one one up indie